Hello, Garstor here again with another UV layout video. About a month ago, a commenter left a request that I do a video covering how to unwrap a human being. So I thought I'd tackle that. It's going to definitely be a challenge, and my organic modeling skills are definitely not up to snuff for it. So I am going to cheat a little bit. I've downloaded the Make Human program from makehuman.org. Uh, this is a completely free application, so it will generate a, a male or female mesh. Um, as you can see here, right here on the home page, it's the most liberal license in the world. So once you've got that mesh generated, you're free to modify it as you see fit. The nice thing about Make Human is that it will also do UV mapping for you. So we'll take a quick look at what that looks like, and then we'll go ahead and make our own UV map. So I've generated this uh, female character and I will give you a fair warning about Make Human. It does have the option both male and female to uh, create additional maps for genitals. So if that sort of thing bothers you, uh, just fair warning on that. It is optional and I have left it off in this case. And I'll bring my layers panel over here so you can kind of see how things are laid out with the make human model so we've got the main body and we have a hair mesh eyes eyebrows eyelashes teeth and gums and there would be an extra layer in here as well uh, for the genitals had we uh, implemented that I'm going to just focus on unwrapping the main body. We won't bother with these other meshes. But let's switch our view down here to the UV textures and we'll take a look at some of the UV textures that make human generate. I'm going to take a look at body face here. Um, we'll zoom that in. In fact, even better, let's zoom this up full size. So you can see here we've got Make Human generates a uh, pelt map, and I've never liked that term. Uh, it just brings back too many uh, evocative images of, you know, like a bearskin rug or something like that. It's always kind of bothered me a little, but uh, we can see that we've got the body unwrapped. The arms and the legs are all in one big UV island mesh. The face and the back of the head is here off to the side. Um, I believe this little piece down in the lower right is the inside of the mouth. And then we've got hands and feet here as well. And these are probably the ears. And traditionally speaking, the ears are one of the most difficult things to unwrap correctly and cleanly. Let's uh, try to zoom in on that. Oh. I've gone and forgotten some of my controls in the... Uh, Lightwave, since I typically use my 3D mouse. Yeah, these are the ears here. So there you go. I mean, if this is all you really wanted, your, your work would be done. You don't have to uh, do any UV unwrapping yourself. But what I don't like about this here is, first of all, we're sharing the UV space with the not only the body and the face. And I, I would prefer to have the face on a separate UV map and uh, much larger. So it takes up, you know, fills the UV space a little more completely. And you can get a lot more details into the face than when you're doing your texturing. And that's really important for avoiding the uncanny valley discomforting feeling when you're looking at a, a model of a human and your brain recognizes it as, as a human being. It's, we've got a few hundred thousand years of evolution to you know have a pattern recognition on the brain uh, for looking at faces. And if you don't have a lot of good detail in the face, your brain just doesn't like what it sees and uh, t tends to rebel a little bit. So if we did our own UV mapping here and we put the face off, off on a separate map and uh, have a map dedicated to just the body and the appendages, we'll end up with uh, probably a higher quality model in the end. So with all that said, I will jump over to UV layout next and we'll uh, start the unwrap process. 
So here we are, we're about to load the female OBJ file from Make Human. And you can see the two types of meshes are either polygonal or subdivided. So I'm going to choose subdivided in this case. And we can either e edit the existing UV map or we can generate a brand new one. So just out of curiosity, we'll leave it on edit for now. We'll take a quick look at what Make Human created. So you can see some of the choices that uh, the Make Human program used here when uh, unwrapping their model. We've got the ears cut off, which is pretty typical. The hands and the feet, as we saw in Lightwave, they've been cut off. And the face has been separated. And the, the neck has also been separated. And then there's a cut seam along the back. And then the rest of the body unfolds as a single pelt. So that's um, not a bad choice. Uh, typically, you want to hide your seams as much as possible. So you can see the split seam along the arm is along the back of the arm, which is where you're typically not going to see it. And likewise, the split seam for the legs is down the inside of the legs where you're not going to see it. But you can see, of course, with the color uh, choices that uh, UV layout lets you see, there's quite a lot of distortion inside the uh, face here. So uh, blue, if you remember the, the mnemonic that I use, is uh, blue is bigger and red is reduced. So these UV uh, textures here where it's really dark blue, are actually bigger on the UV map than the rest of the body. In proportion to the rest of the mesh, this part of the mesh is much bigger. And there's a few areas of red around her breasts and I think some around her feet. Okay, a little bit of blue and red around her feet. And so red is reduced, which means these areas of the UV map are actually smaller in proportion to the rest of the body. But for the most part, we've got a mostly green colored mesh. So it's mostly nicely flat without distortion. But yeah, the face is uh, very heavily distorted. So that's probably something we would want to choose to do differently in this case. So what I'm going to do is uh, exit and reload. and make human, female, and subdivide, and new UVs. So now we're, we're free to start and uh, do every, anything that we want in this case. Now we'll start by uh, cutting off the hands and the feet. That is something that is very, very common and typically a very good idea. All things considered, although the body and the arms and the legs are, make up the largest amount of mesh real estate, all things considered, they're pretty simple shapes. But the feet and the hands and the head are definitely a lot more complicated. So let's start cutting probably about here. I think that'll make a a good first cut. And I think what we can do is actually turn on symmetry. I have not talked about symmetry in any of my videos here, but we go into the edit menu, we click on find, and we pick an edge that UV layout will consider the middle of the body. So let's left mouse click on that and hit spacebar to continue and it looks like it worked quite nicely. So you can see we've got two different colors on either half of the body here so the entire mesh is symmetrical so anything I do on the lighter gray side of the mesh will be reflected over here. So let's actually just unmark this
and I will remark this same seam and we should get that over here. Okay, it didn't go all the way around because of the previously existing cut. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Control Z. Shift C on this side. Goes all the way around. And if we go over here, we should be a full cut here as well. Yep, looks like. That's good. So we'll press Enter. And that will cut away her hands. So let's just move those out of the way. And we'll go down to the feet next. So where is a good spot for the feet? Probably somewhere around in here. Let's go right there. Shift C. Oops, wrong loop. Control Z to undo that. And Shift C for cut on there. So we will press Enter to commit that. And we'll move those out of the way. And lastly, the head and neck. So you can see one nice thing about the Make Human project is they've paid a lot of very close attention to having nice clean edge loops. So let's see, right about here, I think would make a good cut. And we'll commit that. There we go. So now we are left with the body, the arms, and the legs. And I strongly suspect that this is going to be at least a two-part video for the rest of this mesh. I'm not going to record the entire thing in one big video, so just keep that in mind. We'll just uh, finish unwrapping the body here. And for simplicity's sake, let's cut off the arms and legs. And I think that edge is pretty good. So, enter for that. We'll move those out of the way. And likewise, we'll cut off the legs. Probably, I think that loop there goes around. So, shift C there. And we'll move the legs out of the way. So now we are left with the body. Um, in most cases, what I've found in the past, I've used uh, the, the Daz figurines from Daz 3D, and they tend to put their seam along the back, right down through the spine. And uh, that's usually a pretty good bet, I'd say. It's uh, typically not a spot that you uh, tend to look at. A lot of, you know, your modeling is going to be from the front view, so you're, you know, whatever uh, clothes you may or may not have on your model is, is typically going to be seen from the front. So let's put a split along there. Now we still can't quite completely unwrap this. Um, I can tell already we're going to have some problems with these armholes. We're going to need some more cuts to completely fix up these arms. Uh, otherwise, they are going to give us a whole bunch of problems. I'm just kind of evaluating where to make the next cut. Remove a little bit more of the arm. I'm just wondering about this edge here, but it seems to go around to the front, and I do not want that. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do this manually. So let's do just the C key instead of Shift C. And that will, whoops, we don't want that at all. 
We want this. There we go. Okay, and that would come down here. Okay, let's keep going with that. And maybe down to here. And now we will unmark these. So I'm just holding down the backspace key. And that is deselecting any edges that we've got selected there. So there, that takes the the elbow or the rest of the arm, not the elbow, but the rest of the arm and shoulder off. And we will probably reattach these parts to the arms again uh, afterward. So let's just kind of think, I try to think in 3D a little bit here, what's this going to look like when we unwrap it. So if we're kind of pulling this part of the mesh open, and all of this remains connected, we might still have some problems here with the shoulders. But let's see what happens. Let's drop this mesh into the UV space. And I'm going to do Shift F for the bloat flatten. And just kind of let UV layout uh, munge away on that for a little bit. And it's probably going to take a bit of time. So I am going to pause the video. And I'll unpause it after this is finished calculating. All right, so this is what uh, UV layout was able to come up with uh, before it finally gave up. And as expected, there's a lot of problems here with the shoulders. And it looks like here we've got our, yep, our mesh is definitely overlapping here. And uh, there's certainly some distortion. But all in all, not too shabby. Uh, this should be pretty easily fixed. So what we're going to do is somewhere around the middle here. Let's just uh, cut that some more. And we'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll just snip this all the way down to the hole that we made when we removed her arms. Now, you'll notice there's a little pink coloring here along this opening. And that is, uh, UV Layout has put that in there. It knows that this hole is supposed to be here. It's actually meant to, do, of course, hold the rest of the arm. So uh, this is a way that UV layout tries to maintain this this hole and, and keep it in place and work the flattening algorithms around that. So let's see if that helps flatten this out. I'm just pressing the B key and kind of ironing over things. Okay, maybe I'll do Shift F instead, and bloat flatten. And now that it has this, this extra seam that we put in here, you can see that it's doing a much, much better job. But of course, the curving of uh, this would be this side here and this side here would kind of be the sides of the model, you know, sort of uh, where, you know, between where your arms and, and your body are. And so because that's curved a little bit, we've we've got some distortion there that we'll probably not be able to get rid of entirely. And it's kind of folding in on itself, so let's press space to stop. We definitely do not want this. I'm not too sure why that started to happen. But we will have to fix it because it is not desirable. So I'm going to be manually moving the polygons. I did a video on how to manually move with the control and uh, middle mouse button. 
So let's just kind of pull all of these sort of back to more or less where they're supposed to be. And there's where we do the overlap. Okay, and then press the B key. Let's see, does that kind of help fix it up a little bit? No, it's getting there. Okay, I am going to pause the video again and just spend some time cleaning up this piece. Don't need to waste your time watching me do things that I've already talked about in the past. Okay, sorry for that delay. That was a little bit tricky, actually. The, what I found the easiest way to fix up that uh, crossover folding here was to actually cut the mesh completely in half across the middle, kind of like the old magician sawing his lovely assistant in half trick. And uh, I s flattened the two pieces separately that way, and then re-welded them back together again, and then did another bloat flatten, only I stopped the bloat flattening process before it got too far. So just when I was happy with the amount of distortion, uh, I stopped it before it let it process further and uh, start folding over itself again. So you can see we do have a little bit of blue distortion in here and a little bit of red distortion on the sides. I did uh, also uh, cut out around the, the nipple area here and that was also helped keep this uh, a much better shape here, not distort as, as much. And I also did weld one edge here at uh, the t edge of the shoulders here, just to kind of keep things in place there. So let's rotate this around. There we go. And uh, there's the, uh, the flattened uh, nipple portions there. So let's return to the edit room. The arms and the legs should be pretty simple to unwrap. I'm just going to move this out of the way. There we go. And uh, let's find something along the inside of the leg. Probably this edge right here. So Shift C, Enter to cut that. And we did it on the other leg as well because of the symmetry. D to drop, and same thing for the arms, let's see here, so that's the inside of the arm here, and just along here would be along the edge of the body, so let's cut right on that edge, shift C, and cut, and drop, and then we've got these little shoulders that we also cut away. We want to reattach those probably. Let's see the best place for cutting this. Uh, let's just pick right here. We're definitely going to have to rework these a little bit. D to drop. So that leaves us with the hands and the head and the feet. And as I said, I'll tackle those in a separate video. So press the number one key. We're back into the UV view. So shift F for bloat flatten. Oh, we're getting a bit of distortion there. Let's see if it fixes itself. Yeah, it looks like it's going to. There we go. Yep, that's a nice clean unwrap. I'll hit space there. And Shift F, we'll do the same thing on the other leg. Okay, that's coming up nice and clean. There we go. There 
and the arms. Ooh. I think that'll fix itself up just like the legs. Yep. Yep, looking good there. Okay, so we'll do the other arm. There we go. And then these shoulder sections here. Yep, they unwrap pretty quick. And we will definitely want to re-weld those. So my approach going forward, I've been thinking about this, and what I'll do is I will have the body form one UV island in one UV tile space here. And we'll have the arms and the legs uh, in another tile space. We might be able to get away with adding the hands and, and uh, feet here. And we'll have a third UV tile space for the uh, face so that we get a lot of detail, a lot of uh, screen resolution in that face. So we'll fix up these little uh, shoulder pieces with the arms and then we will call this video uh, done at that point. So let's see where these things weld. We'll just press the W key on this edge. Okay, that's probably welding to the body. If we look over here. No. Hmm. That's kind of odd. Well, we can press the M key to move that mesh next to where it, it wants to weld. And if we zoom out, ah, there it is. So it moved them up here. All right, this is attaching on the inside of where the armhole is. Yeah, we probably don't want that. So I am going to backspace over that. And we'll move these meshes back to this tile. Okay, so that was along here. So this side is where we attach to the arm. So let's just press W. Yep, there we go. You can see it's lining up there. So let's just weld all of this. move, commit the weld, reflatten, and that should fix itself up, just like before, yep. Okay, there we go. That's about as good as we're going to get. We'll reflatten this one. And that's pretty good. Now let's just kind of take a look in here. No, okay, so that I thought those two pieces might weld together, but they don't. They do fit in here. Yeah, probably along this little square piece here. So actually, let's pick this edge anyway. Yep, you can see the pink is a little bit bolder here. 
So what I think I'll do is use the C key and we'll just snip that piece out. and move them into place. Commit the weld. Reflatten. There we go. That's much cleaner. And we'll reflatten this one as well. go and we'll run the B key around here nope I don't think we're getting any any further corrections so with that said uh, we will end this video here and I will work on performing the rest of the cuts in another video Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this useful.